Today we'll be going deeper into the base plotting system of R in the interactive workshop EDA, Exploratory Data Analysis. So first, let's open the R Studio. So we we'll have a deeper look at the base plotting system in R in this session. Okay. Okay. So base plotting systems. Earlier in previous session, we have had a look at the three base plot, uh, three plotting system in R, which is the base plotting system, the lattice plotting system, and the GG plot uh, plotting system. And in this session, we will do a deeper dive into the base plotting system. Base plotting system, plot, which is scatter plot, histogram, and uh, box plot. We also can annotate the text at line and points. What do you think is a advantage of base plot? Okay, you can't really go back once the plot has started. Okay. Quick examples of base plot. We use the data air quality. Shows ozone and other air measures for the New York City. Okay. Quality is a data set. Quality. Okay, we see that there's ozone, solar, wind, temperature, month, and the day. Six columns. First is the ozone column of the air quality. There's also some missing data. Missing data. Only. Okay. So for run the command range, okay. Specify by a quality also. And the second one is booming RN. I'm set to true. What if we don't do it? What if we set to false? We don't have the range because there is contains missing data, so we don't have the range. So I have to set it to true, which means remove. NA. Uh, RM is remove NA. Okay, we see the range is after removing the missing data, and the range is minimum 1, maximum 1, 8, 1, 6, 8. Okay, simple histogram column to show the distribution of the measurements uh, with the current quality also. We can select all these words and the shift left bracket and left parenthesis. It will have a parenthesis out of it. Hist then press tab. Okay, you see the plot here. Okay. Okay, this is a title of histogram, air quality ozone, and the x-axis is the ozone, then y the frequency is the count of the ozone, uh, number of uh, six, uh, days fell into a different buckets, different bins. Which is most frequent count from 0 to 25, 0 to 25, between 60 to 75, which is not right, under 25, yes, and then 25 will have maximum frequency, uh, nearly 40, nearly 40, so under 25. So next we do a box plot. Box plot, we need the table. 
say I want to break down by months so months of five is May, June, July, August and September so how many dates for it into that you see the data covers five months May through September box plot of home zone as a function of months in which the measurements were taken so our, our formula ozone months at the first argument box plot not box box plot if you are not very sure what you should do question mark box plot then you have this uh, documentation for box plot so this is a box plot Here are like some examples of box plot. Box plot. Before, this is an example of the box plot. Hmm. To measure the discrete, decrease break by treatment. Box plot. You can press tab to find out what are the values that you want to specify. Also months. This is the first one. The, our second argument will be air quality, the data set. So data set. The first one I'll take. Okay, try this now. Okay, let's have a look. May to September uh, break that by each month, and the y-axis is the ozone's measure. So for May, there are 30 days. How many days? May 31 days. Uh, 31 days. So there are 31 data points, and out of these 31, uh, the medium of these 31 measurements is around 20. 20 this is medium. And for June, it will be higher, and uh, July is even higher. July is the highest. Okay. Title and for your automatic it did not specify the title and X labels for your automatic. So what shall we do? Guess next. We will specify the labels. Let's see how we specify it. So box plot ozone months air quality. So X label months. Y label ozone PPB. Color access blue and color label red label red color access blue this is access blue and the label red so months and ozone become red and the y label's name is ozone ppb and the x label's name is the months okay okay then we add a title there so title main ozone and wind in New York City. So we are adding a layer on top of that. And you can see the base plotting system. It's possible to modify the, the, the plot at layer by layer. But you can't really go back. You can't say I want to remove this ozone. <laughs> okay. Okay, now is we will show you the relationship between wind axis and the ozone y axis. The plot is a scatter plot, so we are showing the scatter plot. And on the second argument will be the core to plot. Yeah, I need this one. Okay. With this data set, we plot the wind and ozone. Yeah, wind and ozone. Wind, ozone, uh, there seems a uh, linear relationship. Labels, you know, but no title. So, no title. Title main. Okay, you can use the upload recovery. Main. Title main. 
see without the one title being added. Function part can use the part that has more parameters to find out what values for is and just run the command length with argument part. Okay. Length command with argument part. So length part there are 72 uh, parameters uh, can be used for the part. Parameter part give you access when the with part has so I'm going to see what is Arguments are names. Okay, we have a lot of things shown here. So, x log, for example, is to get the logarithm of x to rescale it, y is a similar one. And see, this is line type, it is a dotted line. It's a solid line, line width, the width of the line. So, and, and a minimal. Okay. Let's have a look at NP. So, the par is here, set all query graphical parameters. So, there's a lot of can be used to set the query of the graphical to add a lot of effects to the graph. And there's many more. No, there's a lot more. So let's have a look at say L L T one L T one line type zero blank one solid two dashed three dotted so they are coded values if you want a dashed line then you specify L T one equals to two and there will be line width line width line width there's line with it's a integer number that you provide defaulting to one and if you want a thicker line then give, give it a larger integer number and the minimal so and also a lot of uh, examples about line types like for example this is line types showing the line types okay so we go back so it says let's have a look at p r p so, what do you think these two numbers plot dimensions in inches? A confidence level on a random numbers coordinate of the center of the plot window. Okay, I don't know, but let's check PIN. The current plot dimension within height in inches. So, plot dimension in inches. Run the command. Let's see what I get. FG. Black. FG. Okay. Figure. Background. Is it? Background color. Background color. Background color. Yes. You will get through some of the more commonly used one now. So. Uh, PR has a lot of parameters to specify to modify the effect of the, the graph, the plot. PCH. PCH is the picture characteristics. Picture characteristics. Picture, not quite. Uh, P stands for plot. Plot. Characteristic. Yeah, characteristic. Default is in the open circle, can either be a single character or an integer code for one set of graphic symbols. Run this command part pch to see the integer values of the default. So one. one is the code for the open circle. What do you think the graphic measures LTY and LDY? Specify for LTY is line type and LWD is line width. Yeah. To see the default line type, default line type is uh, solid and default line type. So 
default line width. Uh, I'll specify the moment. Colors by name. Okay, now we look at colors. X lab and Y lab. Uh, X label and Y label. Labels for the X and the Y axis. There will be a few more things like BG is a background color, MAR margin size or MA outer margin size, number of plots per row and per column. So when we want to split the canvas or the plotting area into different uh, segments, then we use the MF row and MF column. Both deal with multiple plots. We're filling the first row while well, we're filling the column first. Okay. Not one of the annotation functions. So histogram is not an annotation function, it's a plot function. So we can add title, we can change the shape of uh, data points, uh, data points shape. It can be either point or square or uh, triangle. Lines, we can change the color of the line, the width of We can add text to the graph. Title as annotations. Title. Title as annotations. Complicated scatter plot. First one, three argument. That three argument set equal to arguments So do a scatter plot is just group. Scatter plot is this plot. Then the set equal to n. This tells us to set up a plot but to put the, but not to put the data into it. Okay, we do it first. Okay, so we have a blank canvas. So not put any data, but only the x variable and the y variable. Add a title with argument main set equal to the string. Okay, let's have a look at that. Title main, so it will add a title main to this graph by calling the title main title function. I'll create a variable called main by subsetting subset air quality. We call the data specimen months by number and main is the fifth month of the main. Okay, let's have a look. Subset air quality months equal to five. So may data have this. Now solid blue the triangle you have to set the color and number to separate argument no, the points we are adding to an existing plot. Okay, so we have a blank canvas. Now we have to add the data into it with a different color and shape. We set points and use the points to add it. Points main wind, so we only want to show the uh, data for the main. For the main, the main ozone color blue PCH equals to 70. PCH is the 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 call uh, the shape of these uh, these uh, data points that so become triangle. Create a variable. 
by subsetting our quality. Not main, okay, not main. So not main. Variable not main. And quality. Runs not equal to five. Let's have a look at the solution. Yeah, air quality months not equal to five. Oh, subset forgot to key in subset. Now use our commander plot to the snow red snowflakes. Red snowflakes. Okay, what it did is they add a few more points into the graph for the not main. Not main is wind, ozone, color equal to red, pch equal to 8. So I have a look at pch. pch. Add points to a plot. You have to look at the pch. pch. You see the pch characteristics. Huh? Goes to use <coughs> PCH forty six handles. Well, the PCH is here. There's many, many, many uh, different ways of specifying. Zero is square, one is circle, two is uh, triangle. So earlier we specified provide PCH equal to eight. So this eight is not flake. So this is the mapping that uh, you want to look at. So if you want a different shape, uh, you specify the different number of it. So this is where you find the, the values for PCH. Okay, the next one is pretty complicated uh, plot. It says legend, add a legend, top right, add a legend, then PCH equal to C17A. 17 is the solid triangle. Solid triangle. Seventeen. Seventeen. Seventeen solid triangle. Solid triangle. And the number eight is uh, number eight is snowflake. No. And we add a legend. Legend is top right legend. Then the color is blue and red. Blue for the Solid triangle, red for the uh, snowflakes. And we add the legend, May and other ones. So the title for the legend. Okay, now we want to add a vertical line at the medium of this. Take the dash with the width of 2. So we add um, another line. So let's have a look. So we use AB line function. We add a vertical line, which is a medium of the air quality wing. So this is a medium of the air quality wing, which is a little bit lower than 10. And the line width equals to 2, and how solid this line is. And the line type equal to 2. The 2 is the dashed one uh, we saw earlier. So this is adding the, the graph layer by layer. Use a power with a parameter and wrote a set. 
vector to split the probability of a two plot set by set. Here we will see a result. Okay. Now we split the canvas into two. So nothing will happen at the moment. So we just define par equals to one row, two columns, right? One row, two columns. Right? Um, side by side. Now plot air quality wind and use the main to specify the title. Okay. Uh, we can write this. Main equal to ozone and wind. Okay, then this plot will plot the first uh, graph on the left. So there will be one row and uh, one row, uh, two plots. One row, two plots. Now for the second one, ozone solar specific title, blah, blah, blah. Ozone and solar. Ozone, solar. And the main is ozone and solar radiation. Ozone and solar radiation. Um, solar dot R. Okay, so this is what I have quality solar dot R. So now for something more challenging, let's look at something more challenging. This one with three plots to illustrate the inner outer margin. First, set up the plot window by typing par equal to this. So one row, three columns, and then the margin. Now set the margin. Set the margin. Okay, mail. Mail. Marking are specified at four long vectors. Each number tells how many lines of text to leave at each side. Uh, left, right, up, and down. The line margin is 5.1, blah, 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 blah. So you can see we reduced each of these that will have room for some other text. Yeah. Side, clockwise, clockwise, clockwise at the bottom. So this is the bottom margin. Uh, left hand side margin, up margin, then right hand side margin. The first plot, so we are going to plot three plots. Plot blah 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 with this title argument main as also a wing. And we retrieve it. This is wind and ozone. Uh, wind and ozone as wind ozone and wind. Okay, this is cool. Yeah. The second plot is similar. So we already have one of the plots there, one plot there, one plot. Second plot is simple. Solar R with title ozone and solar radiation. So this is the one. Plot air quality and with title ozone radiation. So this is X and Y. X and one, X and one. So solar and also so quality also. For the final panel, temperature versus also temperature versus also. So we see the relationship between also and three different three different columns. Quite right, okay. This is not ozone, it's temperature. Okay, take up. Okay, so these are the three plots that we plotted. Then the y axis are all ozone, ozone, ozone. Axis, axis is uh, wind, solar, and temperature. So we see the relationship. Now we pull it with a title, okay. We specify our commander mtex called mtex with string 
uh, and weather, blah, 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 and uh, other step to true. Okay, and next T. Okay, it said text, size, line, auto, force, or these are the default values, and uh, a few more. So we will be using these uh, auto. So the string also, and and the weather in New York City. There's one argument we need to use, which is out equals to true. Default one is false. Okay, so this is plot. So it said the ozone and the weather in New York City. Since we have leave some space there, so we are able to uh, add a few text into this graph, or else the text will overlay onto the existing graph. Okay. Yeah, nicely passed out there. No ozone. Okay, so this is the end of this session. So we have got a deeper uh, practice on the basic plot in the basic plotting system of R by changing the color, specifying the, the shape of the points, and uh, adding a few uh, benchmark lines, vertical or horizontal, into the graph, and also specify how to split the graph into different sections and plot the individual subgraph uh, one by one. Okay, good. So that's the end of this session. Thanks for following me. Thanks. See you next time.